Hey guys, so I am back with a new video. First thing you're probably going to notice is my hair. I did get it done over the weekend. I just got some long layers put in it because it is just, it's super thick and it's getting really long and it was just super heavy, super annoying. I actually contemplated just cutting all of it off. Um, so I just got a little bit thinned out and layered. And then I got ombre done to my hair. Nothing like super dramatic. Um, I didn't go for like super blonde because my hair is, this is kind of my natural hair color, so I kind of wanted something where I wouldn't have to deal with roots when my hair grows in because it grows really fast. So yeah, this is kind of how it, well not kind of how it turned out, this is how it turned out. And I really like it. Uh, it's a nice change, a little something different for summer. Really easy to maintain, so loving that. Um, I decided that I want to do a summer series since summer is pretty much here. Um, so I'm going to start off with my top summer nail polish picks and then I'm going to do like summer makeup, summer hairstyles, uh, maybe summer fashions, we'll see how daring I get here. But I want to start off with summer nail polishes because I have a ton of new nail polishes that I picked up recently and some old favorites. Um, I feel like some of these nail polish colors are not traditional summer picks and some people probably are going to think they're ridiculous picks, but these are the colors that I personally like to wear in the summer. So I um, used my fancy nail wheel, um, since I am a professional YouTube guru, to show you the colors that I picked for summer so that you can kind of get a better idea of what they look like. So the first one I'm going to start with is Essie's Van de Gogh. This is a color I've had since last summer. I really like it. It's like a pink with a bit of coral um, in it, and it's this first one right here. So this one right here. I love this color. I wear it a lot. It wears really nice. Um, so love that. Second one is a L'Oreal color and this is in 310 Versailles Romance. And this one I picked up maybe six months ago. Uh, I really like this one too. I don't wear it that much. It is a little sheer. So it's the second one right here. It's a little sheer. Um, that, that was about three coats. Uh, but it is a really, really pretty color. Um, not really like anything that I have, so I like that one a lot. The next one I picked up in the States, and it's a Sinful Colors um, polish. We don't have Sinful Colors in Canada. This one is in Hazard. It's pretty much just a straight up orange color. Uh, I wear it on my toes. I have it on my toes right now. These are really, really cheap. Um, I don't know, I think this was like $2. And I, I like how they wear. They go on really nice, and they last a long time. The next one is Essie's Turquoise and Caicos, and I've had this one since last summer, I believe, as well. I love this color. Um, I also have Four Audrey. This is it right here, Turquoise and Caicos. I have Four Audrey as well, um, and a couple other colors that are pretty similar, but this is by far my favorite one for summer. The next I have Essie's Topless and Barefoot. This is one of my favorite nail polishes of all time. I think it's a perfect nude for my skin tone. And this is what it looks like right here. For me personally, I don't know why I find this color chips really fast, no matter what I do, no matter what top coat I put on it. I don't know if it's just the one I got or the, I don't know, but I just find it chips really fast, but I love it and I wear it a lot all year round. The next one's a color that I think people are going to be like, what are you talking about? Why would you pick this for your summer nail polish um, picks? It's Dress Me Up by China Glaze. This was, this was from the Hunger Games collection. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty much just like a warm brown color. But I don't know, I like wearing browns in the summer. I don't know, when my skin's tanned, I like wearing like tans and nudes and browns. I just find they're most flattering on me. So that's why I picked it. Uh, the next color is, I almost want to say my favorite color that I own. And it's one of the newer ones that I've gotten. It's Orly Rage. Um, I'd seen this color for ages, Liz, my BFF who I always talk about here on YouTube, um, she has it and she raves about it, this one right here, and then Michelle1218 did a video with it and I was like, you know what, I'm going to get the dang color, um, it's like a rose gold, it's phenomenal, I love it, I've been wearing it non-stop, like non-stop, and it doesn't really chip on me, like I've, I've worn it for about a week before it starts to chip, um, I think it's phenomenal. I absolutely love it. It would probably be my top pick um, in terms of nail polish all around. I just love the texture of it, how it looks on the nail, um, the lasting power, the application. I, this is my first orally polish, but I, I'm really impressed. So 
This is one you definitely want to pick up if you're going to pick up one of them. The next one I actually haven't worn yet. Uh, my mom gave it to me. She got it and she didn't actually like it. She thought it was a little bit too bright for her. It's an Essie color in Too Too Hot. I'm not sure how long this one's been out for. Um, my mom got it in a Lux box, I believe. And she just said it was just too bright for her. But I think it's the perfect summer color. It's just a really, you know, it's like a cherry red color. So really like that. The next color I have on my nails right now, and I am absolutely obsessed with it. I got it two days ago. Um, can you hear the excitement in my voice? <laughs> it's Mojito Madness by Essie, and this is from the new summer collection. This is the exact color of Starbucks green. Um, I love Starbucks. I drink Starbucks every day. And this was pretty much just the most frivolous purchase. I realized how... I don't know how simple my life is the fact that I was like oh my god I'm gonna buy this nail polish because it matches my cup that I use every morning so when I hold my Starbucks I can like be coordinating like this is how I don't want to say how vain I am so I don't think I'm very vain but it's just my priorities are just you know at 25 my biggest priority is will my nails match my cup so I guess it's a good place you know like I'm not tied down to any children or mortgages or anything like that. I'm just living my life, buying my nail polish. Anyways, the last one I'm going to show you is also for the new SC collection. Right now at um, Walmart in Canada, they have the SC polishes on for $7.96, which is why I just picked up these two. And this one's Bikini So Teeny. Both of these summer collection colors I found out from Miss Jen Fabulous, who has a really, really great blog. Uh, it's polishandpearls.com. And she... I get a lot of nail ideas from her. I really like her. Um, so this is it right here. It's just a really interesting, like, purpley blue color. Um, so I think this will look really neat with a tan. I don't know why I say neat. It's not like 1985. Um, I don't want to say cool either. I think this will look really nice with a tan, just because it's like a really cool, like, ice blue purple color. Yeah, I'm just going to stop now. So those are my top nail picks for this summer please let me know in the comments whether you like them whether you hate them whether you have other suggestions for me right now my top picks are mojito madness and orally rage if you have either of them let me know we can be cool together um that's it for now and stay tuned for the rest of my summer series and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye